evidence mounts for a September release with the Hogwarts Legacy book. But what is it going to be? Welcome Magical People, I am Mark Zilbert and this is your game, game for Magical Channels. Welcome Magical People, I am Mark Zilbert and this is your channel for Magical Games. Right, so, we've had more chat and stuff about release dates. I don't know about you, but I'm getting kind of fed up with them. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I do have a different video coming up right now. But anyway, so we've had account NGT again on Twitter talking about a summer release and then going on to say the word September. Uh, in my book, September isn't really summer, but, uh, but hey, there you go. But now we also have another uh, source of information pointing in that direction. So many games have companion books. Uh, even Wizards Unite had one, um, although we never got to see many of the features that were in the book. The Rolling Library has reported that Insight Editions are to publish the art and making of Hogwarts Legacy in September 2022. September the 6th, to be precise. So, who is Rolling Library, uh, Insight Editions, and the author mentioned, uh, Jody Revenson. So the Rolling Library to start with is independent of Warner Brothers um, and Avalanche. In their About Us, they say the Rolling Library is an international online literary website devoted to promote the life and works of J.K. Rowling, reporting the latest news and events related to her books with the purpose of becoming a resource for serious fans. So, I mean, there isn't really an issue here. This is a bit of a background. Uh, they are basically uh, sort of like a fan news site kind of thing. Um, it's a great site, well worth a look as well. Insight Editions are a publishing company. Uh, they have published many books in regards to Harry Potter, quite a lot actually. Uh, most importantly, they have been working with WB on these books um, because well, there's a whole bunch of copyright material in there as well and interviews and stuff. So here we can say we at least have a source which has some inside information. Um, well, more than what we can get a hold of. They'll obviously be working under some sort of NDA. Now, I am going to make a wild assumption at this point. Suggest that they were given the okay to release a publishing date upon... Uh, when the unreleased trailer we haven't got yet was supposed to be released. It's supposed to be released before Christmas. And now we know that they pulled the plug. So, essentially, WB should have already doubts the game by now. Um, and presumably with a date on it. But I have a funny feeling no one told those publishers to, hang on a minute, let's hold off your date because we haven't given our date yet. Oops. So it's quite possible uh, the publishers have gone ahead with the date for the book and not realising that the game date hasn't come out yet. Uh, given our past experiences with WB management and stuff, that's quite likely. Oh, by the way, my light might go up and down because my <laughs> the sun keeps going in and out. Hum. Okay, they attempted to adjust my, <laughs> my lighting stand. Okay. So moving on to Jodie Revenson, who looks remarkably like Professor Sprout, uh, has written a number of books along the lines of backstage photos and the creation process of the movies, not only with Insight Editions, but also other publishers. So what's this book going to be? Anyone who's expecting a game guide is going to be disappointed. Uh, also, if you're expecting an expansion on the game's lore, then it's not likely to be here. Looking at the past works of the author and obviously the, the title of the book that we've been given, uh, it's going to be filled with game artwork and we can safely agree that the artwork we have seen in the trailers and leap trailers is pretty substantial and most likely going to have interviews and insights into the creative process of designing these 3D models and looking at the feel and building Hogwarts I imagine and things like that. So that way we'll get an insight of what they've been up to for the past few years that have been sitting here waiting with radio silence. Will I buy it? If I like the game? Yep, I'll buy it. Uh, Mrs. Zillman is into Final Fantasy XIV and we have some of the art books for those and they're quite cool. So of course the question to everyone's lips is what does this mean for the gauge release date? Who can say? Yeah, I'm going to say this though. Launching these kinds of books has never been done before the game has come out. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think I could be relatively safe to say that the game will be out before the 6th of September. Now there are, of course, a couple of days, which would be quite cool. Uh, one would be uh, Back to Hogwarts Day on the 1st of September, or even better would be Harry Potter's birthday on the 31st of July. I'm saying even better from a selfish point of view that it's nearer. <laughs> the little bit of confusion from account NGT saying summer then September is what makes me a little bit cagey. Uh, in my view, September is autumn. Um, 
work. We call it the autumn term. So Harry Potter's birthday is a summer release. And Back to Hogwarts is an autumn release in my opinion. I then looked up uh, advice that's given to indie developers, which is actually quite interesting. So it says, broadly speaking, late January to early February and late July to early August are considered the release slumps for big titles. This is advice to people who want to launch an indie game. So again, it looks like the start of September, quite possibly, maybe. Uh, that seems to be a reasonable bet, in my opinion. Only the next trailer will reveal the truth for sure, we hope. Now, Sony had their State of Play event on the 2nd of February, which we all missed. Again, no Hogwarts Legacy trailer. It also seems this event runs every three months-ish, so the next one would be in May. So, they could, of course, release the trailer theatrically when Fantastic Beasts 3 comes out at the cinema on the 8th of April. Or they could just randomly drop it. So, I don't know. Randomly drop it, 8th of April, sometime in May, who knows. To be honest, I'm getting a little fed up uh, digging for every scrap of news for clues. Uh, it feels like a bit of a roller coaster ride of oh, of anticipation and disappointment. Do you feel the same, or are you eager for every clue? Um, let me know because it helps me tailor the channel. If you're getting fed up of, oh, is it going to be this day? Oh no, it's not. Or is it going to be this day? Oh no, it's not. If you're fed up with that, just let me know, and uh, we'll do different things. Right, the next video. So if you like this video, press the thumbs up button. Uh, if you don't like it, press the thumbs down button. But let me know below the reason why you don't like it. <laughs> because there's no point in doing a thumbs down not telling me why you don't like it also for more content like this uh, our next video is going to be uh, the enemies of Hogwarts Legacy so if you want to see that hit subscribe and hit the notification bell that'd be great so until next time brush up on your spells get your ones ready to write your own Hogwarts Legacy see you.